uh, I got this new portable generator. It's Champion 12,000 watt starting watt and 9,500 running watts. And I'll walk you through the steps. I also have got this gasoline, five gallon gasoline, which I'll need to start this because it's a gasoline based generator. So let's get into this. It has 12,000 starting watts and 9,500 running watts. If you don't know about starting watts, starting watts is the power that any equipment, right, any appliance that you start, it actually requires more power when it starts than it needs when it actually runs. So for example, if you are starting a microwave, let's say 1000 watts microwave, the starting watts could be uh, 1200 or 1200 starting watts. Uh, but the running watts will be 1000 watts, right? So which means when it starts, at that exact moment when it's starting, the appliance is starting, it's gonna need more power. It's gonna withdraw more power from the generator. And that's why generally any typical generator you see, it you'll find more starting watts and less running watts for, the, for that reason, right? So it can support more devices and it can support starting of those devices and appliances. Okay, next it has eight hour running time, uh, 74 decibel of uh, noise or sound it makes. It has electric start, so I wanted that because I'm gonna keep generator slightly away from the house and it's gonna be helpful if it's uh, uh, if the weather is not conducive, right? For example, if it is raining or if it is snowing, uh, this is gonna help me. Um, it has four more digital meter. I'm not sure what that is, but once we uh, open this and we'll figure it out. Uh, it has covered outlets, which means uh, the rainwater or snow is not gonna seep into the outlets, which is good. Uh, voltage guard against power surges and cold start. So it's, it can easily start in cold weather, which is a must have for me because I live in Chicago. So, you know, uh, it's gonna really help me out. In terms of outlets, it has 30 amp. Uh, 50 amp and uh, 20 amp GFCI and 20 amp GFCI. Uh, so yeah, it has four GFCI as you can see here. These are the receptacles. Receptacles, sorry. Uh, and then the oil is included in this, which is good because I don't have to buy it right away. Uh, here is a key fob that probably I'll see when I open this inside, which will help with the remote start. And of course, if say, for some reason if the remote start is not working. I can always use the traditional start, which is to kind of pull the cord and you know, start uh, the generator. So with that, uh, let me uh, open the box and see what's inside. So I'm going to actually use 50 amp uh, because uh, we have the power inlet or generator inlet, uh, generator inlet plug already installed last week. Here, we are opening the box. This is the first thing you find. Uh, okay, what is it? Uh, something about carbon monoxide and auto shut off. And there it is. So I think it's gonna require two people because it's, it'll be heavy. Okay, so here is the accessory kit. We finally took it out. And as you can see, it has the roller wheels that we need. Roll the generator. This is again part of the wheel. The wheel will go on these two. So, and then this is to fill the oil. There you go. So, it's, it's 1.2 liter. 1.2 liter oil. Some uh, screws, I think probably for the wheels. Giant screws. Uh, some caps, maybe weather caps or something. We'll see what we are going to use this for. And then these are, again, I think these are these will be used, I think, to install the wheels uh, to the base. So let's get into this. Okay, so this is how it looks. 
outside the package. Now we are gonna bring it to the floor. So this is all we took out from the package, uh, the booklet, basically. Uh, this says, uh, do not return the product the, to the store. We are here to help, okay, sounds good. Uh, this is the actual manual with the model number and everything. This model number you can see is uh, 200929 with remote start. Um, they are giving a free t-shirt if we write a review for them. They have also added some stickers. Uh, yeah, good way to advertise themselves maybe. Okay, and they, here is what I was looking for, which is a quick start guide. It shows how to install the wheels and everything. So the generator is out. So I'm gonna you know start stop on the insta the installation process. So the wheels are attached, both the wheels are secured and we are ready to roll. <laughs> Next we are going to install the, uh, the other side, I think uh, it's, it's just a stand. Uh, and to install this we've got uh, the bolt and the nut, clench nut and a uh, bolt. So we're gonna just you know use these two and then install the stand. So we have installed the wheels, we have also installed the base stand as you can see here using the nuts and bolts now we flip it back horizontally and connect the battery and then add oil the battery is located on this side as you can see here so we are gonna cut this out and then connect these two prongs to basically uh, get receive power from the battery and send it to the start motor The battery is connected. Now we're gonna add oil in here. So adding oil using this funnel that they provided. I think it's pretty neat. If you put it in here, it makes a flat surface as you can see here, which makes it easy for the oil. See, it's going very easily. Yeah, so we emptied the whole uh, 1.2 liter bottle, which is actually the capacity of this oil tank. It's 1200 ml, uh, which makes sense. Before we start the generator, so I've already added the gasoline uh, here at the top. It is It has a seven and a half gallon tank. Uh, I have added five gallons, so I still have some room there, but I'll stick with it for now. Uh, I The next step is to uh, bring this uh, fuel pipe basically to open the fuel pipe so the fuel can flow from this to the motor so you want to make it vertical it was horizontal before you make it vertical and that's it now it's ready to roll the next step is to start to turn on the battery so the battery can now send power to the key fob to start the generator remotely and uh, this switch was off, so I kind of moved it in the middle. Uh, if I want to use this button to start the generator, I need to then move this all the way and then it will start the generator. But if I leave it in the middle, that way I can start this generator using the key fob I have. Here are the keys to start the generator for remote start basically. Uh, and if I press this, it's going to start it. To stop the generator, and I'm, I'm going to press this button. As you can see here, it'll stop the generator. Okay. 
There you go. And uh, once you are done, you just need to turn these off. So the battery is disconnected and you have also disconnected the other uh, switch as well. So that's about it. I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, instructions are pretty uh, straightforward and uh, uh, it took me around 30-40 uh, minutes to set this up uh, starting from unpacking it and uh, starting it to try it out but I needed help uh, from an, another adult so you need at least two grown-up people to be able to work this out so if you like the video uh, like and subscribe and then I'll share other details as I learn more about this thank you